In this example, we're asked to solve 1 over 5 plus 2 over y equals 1 over x for x, right? So we're trying to solve for x here. You want to keep that in mind as you go about all the steps to solve this thing. What we have here is a rational equation. So let's bring up the steps to solve a rational equation. Okay, so we want to begin by finding the LCD, and then we want to clear fractions by multiplying both sides by that LCD. So let's do it. Let's see here, so our LCD, all right, so to find the LCD, you start with the first denominator, five, and then you go on to the next one and you say, do I have to expand it in any way to include the next one? Well, yes we do, we need to add in a Y. And then you go on to the next one. Do we need to expand it in any way to include X? Well, yeah, we need an X. There we go. So five Y X or five X Y is our LCD there. All right, next step is to multiply both sides by that LCD. So 5yx over here and 5yx on this side, 5yx. Okay, we distribute it across to both these terms on the left. Notice in the first one, the 5 is going to cancel out, leaving us with xy on the top. The fives are gone. When we distribute it through to the second term here, the y's cancel out, right? So we're left with a 5x times 2, so that's going to be plus 10x up top. The y's canceled out. Over here on the right, notice we have an x in the denominator, so the x's cancel out. That leaves us 5y times 1, or just 5y. Okay, so there's our new equation. Now, don't lose sight of what's happening here. We're trying to solve for x, right? Right here it tells us we're solving for x. I'm going to highlight that so we don't lose track of it. Um, so here we are, and this is where a lot of people get stuck, right? Because we can see the x, you know, we're right at the finish line, and it's like, well, how do we solve for that? So here's the deal. You have to factor it out, and that is a very useful trick for these types of equations and beyond. It's a useful trick all the way through this course, all the way through calculus. Factoring out the variable you're trying to solve for is super useful. So see what I did there? I factored it out, so that gives us x times the quantity, y plus 10. And now we can, uh, equals 5y. And now we can just divide out that y plus 10 on both sides. y plus 10. And that ought to do it, right? That gives us our x equals 5y over y plus 10. Now you may be saying, can't we cancel this y? What I'm about to do is wrong, so don't do it. That's why I'm doing it in red. No, you can't. No, don't ever do that. Why? Well, the general rule here is you don't want to cancel something in the denominator like that when you have a plus down here that's not in parentheses, right? So if this whole factor was going and we could cancel that whole factor with something on the top, then we do that. But here, because we just have this single plus, um, and it's not in parentheses, you can't cancel these y's. So that form right there is already our final answer. No way to simplify that. 